What's up to my fellow DIYers and customizers? As you can see from the title, this is what we're doing today. Let's get into these custom slides, okay? First things first, you're gonna obviously need the slides. My client wears a size 40, 41. That equates to like a nine in US size. So bam, we got those. Next, you're gonna need your fabrics. Boom, already pre-cut, but I'm sure I'm gonna have to cut some more, do a little bit of tweaking on these. Next thing I'm using, I'm using this rhinestone chain for some embellishments. So that's one thing. And then we have these rhinestone bling iron-on appliques, which I'm not going to iron on. Of course, you need your rotary tool. This is to scuff up those waxy surfaces. So if you're doing any kind of bling, I recommend you using something of this sort. Or like um, sandpaper or nail file could do just as good. I got this off Amazon. I also got this off Amazon. Let me tell you, this Bob Smith glue, I mean, this thing works miracles, especially if you're adhering any type of cloth to this um, foam material. But of course, I got my trusty Gorilla Glue too, just in case. This Gorilla Glue is the truth as well. I use numerous things, but I, I will say the Bob Smith is my favorite. Look, I even got Gorilla Glue tape. That's funny. As you can tell, I use Gorilla Glue on everything else around the house. But yes, these are some essentials. And these are two optional tools. Of course, a ruler and some scissors, just in case you need to cut and measure something, of course. So here we go. Let's do the do. First thing we want to do is, of course, take the shoes out the plastic. <laughs> and um, what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and use my rotary tool to kind of take off that waxy layer off the um surface of these shoes now i will tell you one thing these shoes are different because they have like a ribbed texture and i swear i was like cutting holes in these shoes a little bit with my rotary tool this thing is super strong but i'm gonna be real honest with y'all i do not use this rotary tool every time i do some blinging probably because of these shoes and the texture but i mean really this is optional with the glue that i'm using I ain't had no problems with nothing falling off, but for the sake of teaching y'all the right way to do it, that's what you want to do, okay? Especially when it comes to Crocs. So next, we're going to go ahead and try to get our fabric measured. So of course, you see that my fabric is measured in straight rectangles, and of course, this shoe got some different things going on with it. So what I'm going to do is cut a little bit off. Oops, I'm jumping ahead of the video, but this is where your optional tools come in your ruler and i didn't say a pen so of course you're going to need a pen so i'm just going to cut a little bit off this is about a quarter of an inch just to give a little space on the top and the bottom ends to make sure when we do our bling it fits right on in there just as it should so let's do a little measuring okay that's one okay look like we good right here so let's move right along as you can see, we have a little bit of excess here because I had the perfect rectangle. And there, plus the inside of this shoe, as you can see from the other one right there, it has like a little um, a hole in it. So we have to actually cut that out too. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. But la la la, we got that looking good, perfect, see? And then now we're going to go over to the other side. And I probably should grab my pen for this part, obviously, because ain't no way. So, as you can see, I had to kind of flip the shoe around. We got to maneuver these things sometimes. We just be going on a whim around here. So, as you can see, I made some kind of little shape right there. But I'm going to tell you right now, I messed up. Of course, I know I messed up. And you're going to see how. It was at this moment where I knew I messed up. Boom right there i should never have cut at that angle without drawing a line take it from me guys this is a teachable moment do not do what i did do better <laughs> of course but we're gonna figure a way out to make this thing work see that's what i was talking about mm -mm -mm. we live and we learn so a total disclaimer i never claim to be a professional <laughs> I do this for fun, but I also do this for business, and I haven't gotten any customer complaints, so I think I do very well, but I'm always striving to do better for the next time. So at this point, we're going to make this thing work a little bit better, so I'm just drawing another little line just to get a, a cleaner cut on that inside um, 
little circle right there. Ta-da! That thing looking good right there. I know you're seeing me doing a little bit of extra cutting and stuff, but I had to do what I had to do to make that thing fit. I hope I ain't messed up no more. But on to the next shoe. So of course, because the tedious process of cutting out the perfect shape has already been done, this part is easy because the only thing we have to do is mirror this slash trace this on our other piece of fabric. Just make sure that you take your time with this and make sure that if you have a fabric like mine that needs a right side up, that you have it right side up and that you don't cut it out backwards either. Because trust me, I've done that before and we don't want to be wasting no fabric. This stuff already costs a lot to do. Plus our time, no way, honey. But as you can see, I'm just cutting it on out and this one should be just right. And it's not, but that's all good. I'm left-handed and I'm a Virgo, so you know that we are the masterminds at figuring things out, and we definitely gonna make this whole thing work out. So what I'm doing now is just making sure that I position my fabric with my leather in place because we about to get into it with this Bob Smith glue. And if you don't know nothing about Bob Smith glue, you just need to know that whatever it goes on is gonna hold like within seconds so the reason i um held it down was just because you definitely don't want your fabric or your leather shifting around before you even get it glued down but just like that it is glued in place and this only been like five seconds i'm gonna go on through and get this whole piece of leather um glued down to this shoe and this is just the way that i do it i don't have any clips or anything but i just use my hands to hold it down because this glue adheres so fast, it cures so fast, um, I ain't need all that extra stuff. But look at Bob trying to give up the ghost on me. Come on, Bob. I just need a little bit more. I don't think we're going to be able to finish this complete pair with this glue right here, even though I would love to. But no worries. I told y'all I got alternates, so we're going to work it out. Here I come. I have to cut with another glue. This is Crystal Glaze. This is generally used for mostly rhinestones and things of that sort when you're blinging out crocs i'm using it on my um bling chain because obviously bob smith ran out on me but that's okay crystal glaze is definitely a really good glue to use whenever you're blinging out stuff so if you get a chance to find it on instagram there you go i think you just type in crystal glaze in the um search bar and it should come up but look how this is working out. I got my two rows of bling chain already added on there. So those is looking cute. But we got to do the top row. And then we have to work out these little problem areas. Which they're not really problem areas. We're just going to figure some out on how we're going to make this thing work out.
Now that we have our bling chains all added in there and looking all blingy and cute, we're going to go ahead and get our bling applique. Look at that. It is so blingy. I mean, just in the real light, like outside, I, I just cannot explain how beautiful this piece is. But we're going to go ahead and try to squeeze some life out this Bob um, Smith right here because I need him for to put this one on there. Okay, we got a little some some. Like I said, this um is an iron-on patch. You could use heat to um activate it, but please, 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 this is super important. Do not use any heat, um, any heat guns or anything like that around this Bob Smith glue. I made a mistake one time, and I tell you, my nose was on fire. Do not do that. It creates such a horrible um chemical reaction. It's just terrible. It stink up the whole place. So don't do that. I made the mistake, so you don't have to. Now we're pretty much on our final step. So what I'm going to do is use these little multifaceted flat back. They're not rhinestones, but they are shiny, but they're just not blingy. Anyway, I got these from Hobby Lobby, so they'll be cool. They're gold in color, so they'll be cool to add into this to kind of fill in those miscut spaces that I had messed up on when I was cutting my leather. So, of course, using my crystal glaze again because that's what she meant for. I'm going to just go ahead through here and put all these on there. And we're going to see what the end result look like. The one and only Enjoy title. these smooth tunes as I continue to work on these shoes. And while you're at it, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. So that way maybe YouTube can see that you guys like me. And maybe they can push my videos out to more people just like us. Okay, one more thing. I promise to not bug y'all no more. But could you also hit that subscribe button so that way you can see when I do more videos? Also, okay, I promise this is the last thing right here. If you made it this far, please put in the comments, made it. Thank you. That way I know who all sat through and watched the whole video. I totally appreciate y'all. I love it here. Thank you. See you on the next one. The one and only. Michael.